Did you know that ALA has an institutional repository? We do, and it's the place to make records of ALA activities available to future ALA members and the general public. Just as the ALA archives houses the physical materials documenting the activities of ALA units, the ALA Institutional Repository, a LAIR for short, houses its digital records. Whereas ALA websites and ALA Connect are places to share current and working documents, LAIR is a forever home for digital materials of enduring value that tell the story of ALA. Who should contribute materials to a LAIR? All ALA groups that keep records, from ALA Council, divisions, and roundtables, to sections, committees, and task forces. We spend so much time serving the needs of our members, but succession without documentation leaves many ALA units without shared memory of decisions and accomplishments. Let's not allow our organizational docs to be lost in the series of tubes. This video will show you how to contribute your materials to a LAIR for safekeeping. The first thing you need to know is that the organization of a LAIR mirrors the organizational structure of ALA. At the top level, ALA is organized into ALA-wide committees, divisions, exec and council, and roundtables. Similarly, a LAIR is organized into communities, subcommunities, and collections that reflect ALA units and their outputs. For example, within the roundtables community, there are subcommunities for each roundtable, including McGirt, the Map and Geospatial Information Roundtable. McGirt's materials are organized into two collections, Baseline, the McGirt newsletter, and Meeting Minutes and Agendas. The second thing you need to know is that the way individual items are described makes them findable by people who are searching and browsing a layer of collections. The third thing you need to know is how to contribute an item to a layer. I'll demonstrate the submission process by submitting a recent issue of Baseline. Log in using your email address and password. Under Submission, click on Start a new submission. Enter descriptive information for the item you are submitting, including its title, date issued, publisher, volume and issue number, ISSN, type, and language. Provide subject keywords and a description. Upload the file and provide a succinct description of the file itself. In this case, there's no embargo. Review your submission to make sure that all the descriptive information you provided is complete and correct. Grant the license so that a layer can make the materials you're submitting available online. And voila! Your submission to a layer is complete. Now you understand both why and how to submit materials to a layer, the ALA Institutional Repository.